Hello, Pinheads! Welcome to This Week in Pinball's April 2021 recap of everything happening in the pinball world. Haggis Pinball has announced Fathom Revisited, a remake of the 1981 game from Bally. The new machine has improved audio, dimple-free playfields, LCD screens, and ambient lighting for the full underwater experience. Watch out for the treacherous deep and try to survive Lagoon and Mermaid Multiballs, a battle with the Queen Mermaid and her Mermaidens, and a final Mermaid Treasure Wizard Mode. Check out this week in Pinball's in-depth overview of the machine and a dive into the features and rules. The adventure continues 40 years after the original story, with the daughter of the diver from 1981 returning to the lagoon where her father went missing to find out what happened. Haggis Pinball said that there's a lot more to the new rules, and they are looking forward to showing everyone soon. Manufacturing is scheduled to begin on July 1st. You can purchase directly from the store at HaggisPinball.com. Spooky Pinball is expanding again. In an update on their Facebook account, they stated, Our goal is to increase quality, make more games, and get them to you quicker. They also dropped a hint that there's going to be some big things coming soon. The Final Round Pinball Podcast interviewed Charlie Emery about Spooky's next game. Charlie said, I'm nervous and excited for everyone to see what we're actually working on right now. He didn't give a specific date, but said that the new game is the most complete team effort that Spooky has ever done. They also talked about working with Warner Brothers and Adult Swim and the Twippy Awards. Check out the full podcast for more. Multimorphic has made a big announcement about Heist and released a significant code update. A brand new wizard mode called the Big Final Heist includes a 15-ball multi-ball which is the most pinballs in any multiball. Apollo 13 held the previous record with a 13-ball multiball. Heist is the new multiball champion. Buffalo Pinball streamed the new code on their Twitch channel. They plan to do more streams of the game in the near future. We polled our readers to find out what is the perfect number of balls in a multiball. Go to thisweekinpinball.com for the results. Pinside, the largest pinball website in the world, was offline due to a fire in the data center where Pinside's servers are located. This Week in Pinball reached out to Robin from Pinside and he shared that sprinklers were involved and the servers are slowly being brought back up but need to be checked individually for water damage. He said, I'll be moving to a brand new server and a different hosting company. Let's get the pinball talk going again, and please bear with me while I try to keep a temporary server running nicely. Deadflip released a crash course on making your own pinball machine in Visual Pinball. Jack Danger showed us in detail the step-by-step -step process of how to be your own lead game designer and create a custom game. Starting with a blank table, you can add flippers, posts, and other components, as well as custom artwork to fit your theme. Then you can find out what works and feel how your design is going to play. Check out the full video on their YouTube channel. The Pinball Hall of Fame has announced they are in soft opening mode until July. They are still moving in machines and finishing the interior. Currently, they only have 500 machines set up and will be adding a few hundred more. They also revealed their small sign, saying there's an even larger 70-foot sign that will be located on Las Vegas Boulevard. There were also a couple of articles released on the opening in the Las Vegas Review Journal. Pinball Brothers are slowly rolling out Alien Games. Check out this unboxing by Retro Singo, featuring detailed information about the setup of the machine 
and a thorough review of the gameplay and the sound. Find out more on their YouTube channel. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, our monthly giveaway winners. Congrats to all the previous month's winners. Make sure to go to patreon.com slash TWIP and become a member. By giving This Week in Pinball a small monthly donation, you will automatically be entered in our upcoming monthly giveaways and also get all the awesome TWIP perks. You can also email giveaways at thisweekinpinball.com with your name, address, and email to be entered for this month only. This Week in Pinball Swag Pack goes to Troy. A Pinball Life Pin Gulp goes to Bruce. A Pin Quest Hat goes to Robert. A Hooked on Pinball gift card goes to Jesse. A Silver Ball Swag gift card goes to Travis. A Titan Universal Silicone Ring Kit goes to Donna. The Comet Pinball gift card goes to Daniel. The Pin Sound gift card goes to Steve. And finally, the grand prize, Pin Stadium Neo. Drum roll, please. Shay, congratulations. And a huge thank you to our generous sponsors that help make this hobby great. Our Patreon members make TWIP possible. A special thanks to our newest subscribing Patreon supporters, Random Retro, Chris, Royal Jack, Thierry, and Ian. Between forums, podcasts, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch, it's hard to keep up with everything happening in the world of pinball. This Week in Pinball is your one-stop shop for pinball news and happenings. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell for our YouTube channel. Catch you on the flip side, pinballers.